It's uh, really interesting last two days. Eh? That's um, a lot of information, a lot of a lot of happenings, and a lot of uh, evidence. Just so much of everything. Pages of information. It's just unbelievable, wasn't it? Just to see the. Uh, I mean, now, now it's day two, and just seeing obviously the crowns rebuttal and. Um, yeah, I mean, picturing it all together is pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I know. I feel sorry for the judge, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, um, I, I, he, he seems a very, very fair man, and uh, he has got a, a lot of work ahead of him mm. to get through all of that. And, and I mean, what we saw in two full days, I mean, speaking to counsel, they needed at least four to get through half of it, really, to, in a decent way, and I think it was referred to about six weeks if we actually had all of the experts from wow. both sides to actually talk to it. So, I mean, it's a massive, massive case and a massive undertaking for anyone to process. Um, so much respect to both sides having to deal with it, to be honest, um, because it's hugely scientific and medical, um, and and, and that's hard for any lay person and I mean lawyers are expert and experts in law not necessarily in, in the other subject matters that were actually being covered off so you know it's it's exhausting for everyone I mean I've spent you know months and months and months digesting this and so um, the poor old judge has got to deal with it all pretty uh, intensely so it's going to take a while to get a, um, a, a judgment which we we understand yeah um, but yeah, here's a hoping. I think I think law is an interesting thing um, when you're talking about uh, judicial review and you're talking about decisions made within that. Yeah, it's also a very difficult thing. It's not as simple as arguing, um, you know, whether something's right and wrong from a. From a medical perspective, a lot of those finer details become less. Uh, it becomes sort of a black and white situation a lot of the time, um, and that's a tricky one, and um, that's quite hard to confront too, especially when you're talking about children. So, um, my yeah, my all goes down to counsel for um, you know, especially our internal ca um, counsel, Katie. I mean, the kind of work that's gone into producing something that is legally really powerful within those restraints um, is quite an art form, especially when you're talking about the thousands and thousands of pages. But also the thanks to the experts that have stepped up, you know, nine of them with just incredible um, information. Um, um, and and power and ethics and, and moral standing to do all of that. Um, yeah, just really humbling and um, I think people need to remember and, and I think people um, who don't know much about this that we aren't actually a minority. There's actually a huge, huge contingent of people out there all around the world, other governments being challenged on the same sort of decisions. So I think we need to remember that um, this is something that needs addressing. It's really, yes. really important, um, you know, and this is why funding this case has been so important because it is, it's more than just a case of win or lose. It's a, it's a case of ethics. It's a case of transparency. It's yep. a case of, um, yeah, accountability, really. Um, and I think all of those things, regardless of what the outcome is, all of these things will be public record um, and authorities will be reminded that they have an obligation past just a yes or no and that they really need to be demanding more um, from companies who are going to provide particularly children, but the people of New Zealand, any kind of medication or you know, enforce anything that is, whether it be um, mandated or not, um, you know, whether it's necessary or not, it's a huge thing to say something's got government approval. And mm. I think that's a stamp of trust for so many people. And so we need to ensure that those authorities are trustworthy, yeah. you know, and that they are doing their due diligence. And I think that's that's the crux of this case, yes. is to actually remind everybody that, you know, when we are told we can trust somebody, when we're told something that's safe and effective, then there better be evidence behind that. Mm.
and provisional consent, right? That was mentioned multiple, multiple times. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not going to talk about what's said in court because yeah. oh, we're not allowed enough. to. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we are bound by confidentiality cool. after yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. Um, anybody that was live streaming it, please remember that because you are bound by the same um, oh, confidentiality yeah. um, rules. Uh, yeah. We aren't supposed to be sharing. Nobody should have recorded it. So yeah. there's there are things that we need to consider um, yeah. and, and obviously us being part of that legal process, <laughs> we're, very, we're very bound by that. Yeah. So I won't yeah. be commenting on anything that's Fair said, enough. but I am going to say that I was incredibly proud, yeah. incredibly proud of yeah. our legal team. Yeah. Um, anyone who questioned the cost of all this, even though we did it at like, you know, a third of the cost of other countries, um, you just needed to see the power behind our legal team, the experience, um, the calm, the unwavering mm. um, deliverance of very fact-based, very powerful um, evidence yeah. and um, yeah, that in itself just had a huge weight to bear on this case and I, I, I just don't think it could have gone any better from our perspective. It was a, it was a hard case to argue and he made it look easy, he did it beautifully, mm. he did it with um, empathy, he did it with humour, he did it with yes. um, complete and utter honourable integrity. Yes. Um, and that goes for all of them. It was just David who was speaking, that's why he was the deliverer. Sure. Um, but yeah, the entire team. Mm. Um, just so honoured to be working with all of them to be a part of this. Well, I thought it was quite honourable at the end. They actually all shook hands. I thought that was really nice. You know what I mean? You, you know, you go to a lot of places and they just in and out, gone, don't even want to look at you, don't even want to talk to you. And they actually all, even though they're obviously in disagreement, they're there and they all shook hands. Yeah. It's like, you know, you're having a big old punch on and all of a sudden you shake hands at the end of it, no matter who lost, you know, it's wow. it, was, it was such a cool thing. So yeah. That's part of Fight Club though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, number one rule. <laughs> no, um, I, I shouldn't have said that, but yeah, yeah. no. Um, <laughs> I, again, I think, yeah, the team, uh, ours in particular, I can't speak to the Crown because I don't know sure, them, sure. Um, but ours yeah, in particular. I don't want to know them. But. Genuinely, genuinely good people. I have a lot of time for them, would happily continue to hang out with them. Um, on, a, on a personal, they're hilarious and fantastic yeah. and genuine and behind all of this. Um, truly. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Erica. Thanks, Louis. We'll see you around, eh? Yes. <laughs>